Greens everyone, the good tonight here, and today we're going to be doing just a real quick little video on pretty much how to set up a plate carrier. This is just sort of a basic, generalized idea, a few bits of um, just things I've come to learn over the years that could be useful to you in setting up a plate carrier, particularly for those who, well, generally didn't have to ever wear one for a living. So, that being said, here we have our LB... Ah. LBT6094 Alpha plate carrier and we've got it set. It's supposed to sit relatively high generally at the base of the sternum here so you may have to adjust for that. It's only going to be moderately comfortable so plate carrier sits here. Now airsoft wise you're generally not going to need a plate carrier because you don't really need armor for airsoft. A chest rig will generally be preferable but hey we're going to set up a plate carrier today. So how you want to set the plate carrier, most importantly, is your job, generally airsoft wise, is going to be to, well, shoot and hit the other team. So, magazines, depending on if you want to do like a lighter sort of like QRF, quick reaction force setup, or if you want to do more of a mainline, mainline fucking uh, front line setup. Depends on how many magazines you're going to want. Now I've got six in here, in these little uh, tactical tailor pouches. That's a decent amount. That's more than I'm going to need for most of the small skirmishes that go down in the Okinawan field. If I do a larger hour-long game, it becomes all the more important because now I'm going to need a lot more magazines. I'm going to be in one place a bit longer, and I don't want to run out of ammo. Most people wear a single shingle that carries three magazines, and that's perfect skirmishing-wise. It's going to be more of the cure. I'll just do a little shingle. All you do is either move the tab or you have the tacos. All you do is just grab the magazine, pull it out. These ones take a bit longer, just gotta pop this open and then drive it in the bag, so not a lot slower, but a wee bit. Again, to each their own, you're gonna basically find what works for you. For magazines, front and center. Easy to find, you won't be able to keep your eyes downrange on what's going on, so you won't be able to go pop, 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 out of ammo. Oh, I, yeah, you don't need to move it to the dump pouch immediately. Depending on how much time there is, you can just drop the mag there, put a new mag, keep your eyes downrange the entire time. You don't want to be... You don't want to drop your mag, put it in your dump pouch, pop open your mag pouch, be like, where's that magazine? It should be in here somewhere. No, you want to be front and center because they're the easiest to find. You can just feel out which one you need. Boom, magazine. Boom, magazine. Boom, magazine. That you want need. You need to be able to do that, basically. Doesn't need to be the fastest, but it needs to be something you can do. So magazines, most important part. If you're going more for the realism aspect, or the cosplay aspect, so we call it, over the, um, well, speed, pew, pew, I want to be the best at airsoft sport, as opposed to, I guess, the Milson thing, to each their own, again, whatever you find more fun, either ab absolutely having to win or having more of that realistic feel to it. IFAC, your little medical bag, your bleed out generally should sit on the side of your dominant hand. And it it should, big point here, be accessible to both hands. Because IRL, if you get shot, you which is likely to happen particularly in the forearms, you want to have everything you'll need to stop the bleeding and, well, you know, not die. Airsoft-wise, not a big deal. Some people will, most people, will skip this entirely and be like, meh. But if you're wearing the plate carrier, then you might as well at least get something that resembles an IFAC and ha carry everything you need there. I'll dump inside. If you wish to carry a tactical light, I am not, but if you wish to, you can put that pouch back here because getting a tactical light isn't a rush job. If you run comms, which is a big thing particularly with teams, if you want to be organized and able to hear each other and communicate and, well, you know, win, you can shout back and forth between each other. Odds are most people will speak English and even those who don't speak English have played at least a Call of Duty game and know kind of the basics of what you're up to, so comms helps circumnavigate that and you can communicate with your team. You want to keep this close up to the left side. Now the importance here is that you can switch channels on larger ones particularly and your little antenna is out of the way by being close up towards the magazine power so you're not going to keep jabbing it all the time. And if you do have a larger sort of comm set, then you can get the wire reroute kit, run that over the chest, up through the shoulder, and onto your back. So, cool. 
And that's really the majority of what you need for a plate carrier. Ultimately, airsoft-wise, magazines in the front, and honestly, you can stop there if you wanted to. Now, if you want to carry a pack, I've got my little, um, what is it, the uh, Warrior Assault Systems little sort of hydration assault pack here. You can run water through it and put that through a hose down one of the sleeves so you can, well, stay hydrated on particularly longer games. Or you can, like me, use it for your um, air tank for your HPA Polar Star setup. And that's fine. You can mount that directly to the plate here if you want. Some people would recommend not doing so, particularly if you're using it just for hydration or if you're carrying assault tools, because then you need your teammates to be able to get in there and get everything taken care of. If it's on the straps over the shoulders, you can keep it out of the way and you can still, in between shooting, you can pop off the straps and get access to it, move your water around, refill it, whatever you need to do, and then throw it back on, re-get your rifle. Yeah, good to go, so. That's kind of just the basics of setting up a plate carrier. That's the main parts. If you want to carry an admin pouch, you can if you want to. Generally not going to need one though, let's be honest. If you want to carry one, then by all means, just make sure it leaves your shoulders slick so you, well, get your rifle stock in there. Because if you can't shoot, then you're wasting time. It's, you're not going to be winning anything, unless you really want to do that, but... Yeah, being able to shoulder your rifle, kind of a big deal. But yeah, that's sort of like solid advice for both Airsoft and, well, less is more, as my old team CEO used to say, which really stuck with me, less is more. So I have plenty of room on the sides here to carry extra nonsense if I so desired, but you don't need to. We've got mags. I can adjust my radio volume and keep everything going here with my comms. And I've got my IFAC if anything goes downhill. If I want to carry grenades, then dump pouch. That's one of the main benefits of the dump pouch is you just throw your grenades in there. You go pop, pop. Oh, you don't need to be popping open this bit for a grenade and a little pouch here. You can just be like, pop, pop. Oh, we're going to need to clear that doorway. Rifles on a two-point tactical sling because slings are important. You reach back and dump pouch, get grenade, ding, cyclone. So yeah, that's all I have for you guys. I'm just kind of like a general... Solid advice on setting up all of your gear if you so choose. So, just buy advice on how to do play carriers. Less is more, most important part. And uh, yeah, so hopefully this video was helpful. I'm gonna pose here for a second and not say anything because I need a thumbnail. That'll work. Yeah, so there you go. So, that's all you really need. You can, morale patches on the front. Some people have been like, oh, well, you should, no. This is where you get your really only bit of freedom to have your fun stuff. Oh, I mean your shoulders too if you don't have weird unit insignias. But yeah, so have fun. That shouldn't be in my pocket. Have fun, and uh, hopefully this video helps. But yeah, mostly plate carrier, sternum. Make sure back plate lines up with front plate. And uh, there's no such thing as a plate carrier too small, unless they're like designed for children. Odds are... You, it's not your plate carrier that doesn't fit you, it's you that doesn't fit your plate carrier. So if you're part of the subcategory that runs your plate carrier with training plates or soft armor or any of that crazy stuff because you like it and you like the added exercise to really make airsoft more of a sport than running around with super lightweight gear because it's fun, that's cool too. But, you know, make sure the plates are balanced and your plate carrier sits high enough. And if you run a handgun, make sure your pouches do not interfere with the draw of the handgun. So with the bleed out pouch here, you're going to want your handgun a bit farther back towards the ass cheek. And that's my advice for you guys today. Cheers, stay chivalrous, and uh, hopefully that all helps. And if you're carrying anything extra crazy, then like if you're getting claymores or something, then that's when you'd want to start having extra stuff. But less is more. Knowledge is power. And knowing is half the battle. And the other half is violence.